In this video, we will learn how to set up DB Contacts class and database connection string in ASP.NET Core Web API application. To use the Entity Framework Core in our application, we have to work with the DB Contacts class. Let's add a new folder in this application. Add new folder. Folder name will be let's say data. Now inside this folder, we will create DB Contacts class. Class name will be bookstore context. Here we got the new class. Now inherit this class from DB context. Add the namespace. This DB context is belongs to Microsoft Entity Framework Core. As of now, we have created bookstore context class and inherited this class from DB context. Now we have to set some um, DB context options. Let's create a constructor in this class. Now, inside this constructor, we have to pass some options by using DB context options. Inside this DB context options, we have to provide the name of the context class. Your context class name is bookstore context so copy and paste it here then give it a meaningful name let's say options then we have to pass the same settings in base class constructor by using base keyword we can pass all the settings in these options that's it this is how we can configure the db context class till now we don't have any table or classes in this application. Uh, to work with the database, we have to create new table. So we have to create new class for the table because we are going to use code first approach method in this application. Let's add a new class inside this data folder. Add new class. Class name will be books. Inside this class, let's add few properties. Property name ID, then second property type string and then property name, let's say title and then copy this property, paste it. Here change the property name, let's say author. That's it. Now we have to add this books class inside this uh, db context class for that we have to use uh, db set here add one property instead of this integer now we will use db set inside this db set uh, we can provide name of the class that is books then here we have to provide the property name the application will create the new table with this name. Let's say books. In the database, there will be a new table with this uh, books name. We have created DB context class and we have added uh, books uh, in this DB set. Let's say if you have two tables in your application, then you can add the two classes inside this uh, folder or some other place as per the structure of your application you have to define the two properties here and then inside the db set you have to provide the name of the class now let's learn how to set up connection string in entity framework core to communicate with the database we must have connection string we can set up the connection string in two ways first way is we can define all the settings inside this bookstore context class for that we have to override the method override on configuring method inside this method by using options builder use sql server we are getting this name because we have installed this sql server package um, if you have installed MySQL package or some other relational database package, then you will get new method name. Now, inside this method, we have to pass the connection string 
in string format first server equal dot because i am working locally then database database name equal um, let's say bookstore api db then i am using windows authentication so i will use integrated security true we have set up the connection string that's it this application don't know anything about db context class so we have to add this setting in startup class let's open a startup class in this startup class um inside this configure services method let's add services dot add db context inside this db context class we have to provide the name of the uh, context class copy this bookstore context here and paste it here then add the namespace now we have done everything to work with entity framework code now the second way of set up the connection string is this is the simple way to define the connection string in this application now in this bookstore con context class instead of uh, defining the connection string um, in on configuring method we can define it directly in the startup class so copy this connection string from here and go to startup class here we can use options options dot use sql server here paste the connection string then add the namespace this use sql server method is belongs to microsoft dot entity framework code okay this is enough there is no need to define anything uh, in this on configuring method so let's remove this method from this class that's it um, this is how we can use connection string in this application. Thanks for watching this video.